What is up guys? This is Thomas A. Messon and today I'm going to review the Apex Launcher for, you know, your Android device. It will work with any Android device and, you know, I'm just going to review it, you know, tell you how I like it. Uh, I'm going, going to be showing it to you on the Nexus 7 and Samsung Galaxy S3. So uh, let's get to it and review the Apex Launcher. <laughs> So here we have the Samsung Galaxy S3 and the Nexus 7. You know, I'm going to be showing you the Apex Launcher on both, but to start off, I'm going to show it to you on the Nexus 7. So let's just boot it up. I'm going to always use the Apex Launcher, and uh, right off the bat, everything is erased, and you know, you can start fresh on your new, you know, Apex Launcher design. Now, I do find that the Apex Launcher does make your Nexus 7 smoother. But when you hold down on app, you get remove, edit, app info, and share. And, you know, that's really helpful uh, to, you know, do whatever you want to the app. You can also resize it. So, I think the Apex Launcher does make the Nexus 7 a little bit smoother. I find on just the stock, you know, launcher, you do get some lag, and it's kind of annoying. So, the Apex Launcher... Um, it kind of you know removes some of that lag so if you're having a lot of lag you know just get that and uh, it could help you so um, right now I'm just going to put a wedget widget on the home screen and you know you can resize it to whatever shape you want and I think that's really helpful um, you know you can just do that with any widget even if it's not resizable you can basically resize any widget um, it kind of you kind of get the feeling of uh, a rooted you know device so here is all the settings you know you can go to the home screen you know app drawer doc settings folder settings whatever you can do portrait grid where you can make there's six by six so six apps by six apps you can do whatever you want infinity scrolling transition effects there's just all these different effects that you can you know do um, use tablet mode it, it really does give you the a rooted device feel so if you don't want to root your device definitely get the apex launcher it's just as good you get the same amount of you know settings and stuff so now I'm going to show you the apex launcher on the Samsung Galaxy S3 it's uh it's just as good um, because some people don't like you know touch whiz you know I don't really mind it but if you want a pure stock Android uh, get the apex launcher it's just as good and um, you know you get all the same settings as what you got on the next seven so there's a little bit of lag there and uh, the apex launcher you'll see when I do it there won't be as much lag so apex launcher it's in the app store I'll put a link below all you have to do is install it and um, that's all you have to do to get it if you were just wondering how to you know get it installed pretty fast and you just want to go to uh, you press the home button apex launcher I'm just gonna do it once because um, I kinda like touch whiz but here it is and um, it does kind of something weird when you scroll it kinda bumps up to the uh, very left side which is kind of annoying but I don't really care um, so here it is looking good you have a different layout um, as you can see not as much lag you know obviously you're gonna get a little bit of lag but not as bad and um, you know you can go to downloaded uh, widgets it's a lot easier um, if you know you don't know how to use touch widgets, it's a lot easier you get all the same settings everything's basically the same on the next seven it's just on your Samsung Galaxy S3 so if you want a jelly bean a pure stock jelly bean experience get the, the apex launcher theme and you know it'll be a lot easier it'll be just like you have a Nexus 4 device or a Nexus device. Um, it's I do recommend it if you like Nexus devices and you happen to have the Samsung Galaxy S3 or any device that doesn't have, you know, that pure stock Android experience. Get Apex Launcher and you know it'll be just like you have a Nexus device. I really do like it. I recommend it to anyone out there that wants a really good launcher. Um, so that is pretty much it. Those are the two launchers on the Nexus 7 and the Samsung Galaxy S3. I I am a fan of this launcher. Um, I will be using it on my Nexus 7 from now on for the Samsung Galaxy S3 I will be using the stock TouchWiz so thanks for watching if I helped you at all please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe okay see ya right before I go I just want to give a shout out to TX Brads or TX Brad he makes some really good tech reviews check him out please subscribe to him I'll have a link below so yeah that is it check him out and 
you know, thanks for watching.